Hi guys, so today I'm going to do the goofy question tag, and I saw this, um, Danny, I don't know how to say your last name, Danny, I apologize, uh, D-O-C-I-L-E, um, that is the name of the individual who does it, and that's also the name of his channel, um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. What time did you get up this morning? Mm, 7.30ish? I tried to get up as early as I can, and I'm going to stay up as late as I can tonight because I have to work tomorrow night and Friday night, so I'm going to try to sleep all day tomorrow. Um, how do you like your steak? I don't like steak because I'm allergic to it. What was the last movie you saw in theaters? Ant-Man. I saw that with my husband a few weeks back, and it was actually very, very good. We went, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to see it because I want to see all the Marvel movies because they're all eventually going to be tied together but my husband was a little concerned about if the Ant-Man was going to be good or not and it was actually pretty fabulous. Um, what is your favorite TV show? Currently I would have to say it's probably Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition. I flipping love Chris and Heidi Powell and everything that they do and every week when I watch I learn something new that I can add to my home routine um my a lot of my cardio is done off of Chris's DVDs that are now listed on um YouTube because they're a little bit older um the strength training I do is very much based off of their um, philosophy um, for shapers and shredders, which I'm actually going to do videos on very soon. Um, and I eat following kind of uh, their plan of the carb cycling. Um, so I just love them and I love their show and I love how authentic they are. Um, and it's very interesting because this season, after everyone, um, Heidi is doing, I don't know if Heidi's doing the interview, but it's being posted on Heidi's Facebook, or sorry, not Facebook, uh, YouTube, and at the end there's like one question, one word to describe Heidi, one word to describe Chris, and I don't think I've seen one this season, so it's probably, mm, probably they're close on 10 or 12 people now because they did a few beginning of the season with couples that were getting married, um, that someone doesn't say one or both of them, the word that they use to describe them is authentic. And that's what purely comes through on the TV as well. So very, very my favorite show. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, I would love to live in London or in um, somewhere in Ireland or somewhere in Scotland. Partially um, for the accents, because I love European accents. Um, but it's just so beautiful over there, and so if we lived in Ireland, we'd be closer to Brad's older brother, so that'd be cool. But I would just love to live in that type of environment. Um, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? Pretty much the same thing I have for breakfast every morning. A cup of fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt with blueberries. I have a cup of blueberries on them, fresh blueberries. Um, two tablespoons of granola, and then a tablespoon of chai seeds, hemp seeds, and flax seed. That is pretty much my go-to breakfast, whether I'm home or whether I'm on the go. Um, and then, um, because that gives me some protein, and if, once again, if I'm following the carb cycling, I should be having carbs at every day at breakfast, because not every day do you eat carbs throughout the day. So I didn't have it this morning because I actually ran out, but I usually take um, a small wrap. You know how you can get the larger wraps and the small wrap. I take the small wrap in um, 12 grain or ancient grain or something like that, and I put a teaspoon of almond butter on it, and then that gives me my carbs. So I eat that with this. And then I also have um, one cup, and literally it is one cup. It's even the small glass of, they come in a glass set, that's actually 350 mils, so that's not even a true one cup. But I literally measure out one cup of cranberry juice every morning. And then right after my breakfast, I have one of these, so one liter of water. 
what is your favorite food? Um, because I have so many food allergies. Um, it's really anything that I can have that combines chicken and combines a lot of vegetables. So I like, um, one of my favorites is homemade um, a chicken vegetable lasagna or even vegetarian lasagna. Um, or just uh, like a nice bowl of salad with lots of crisp vegetables in it peppers and tomatoes and uh, zucchini and yeah so that would be my favorite thing what foods do you dislike so like I said um, there's a lot of things that I don't necessarily dislike but I can't eat um, of my aller because of my allergies but a couple of things that I can eat that I can't stand and it's a texture thing is tapioca pudding or rice pudding and bubble tea um, I don't know that bubble tea is overly good for you, I'm not sure, so bubble tea probably isn't a big loss, but I know that uh, rice pudding and tapioca can, if made properly, can be part of a very healthy diet, but I cannot get over the, the rice is like overcooked and it's in the pudding, so it feels like I'm getting sick, like it feels like I just got sick and I swallowed, like it's gross. Um, favorite place to eat? So if we're talking fast food, there's a place here called Pressed, and essentially it's fresh sandwiches made to order, a whole array of different breads. Um, so it's really cool. They have two different types of gluten-free bread, which I either have to eat that or I have to eat on the high end of the spectrum of, of, um, of wheat. So I know it makes no sense. I'm making a video on it um, on my uh, gluten sensitivity yet needing high um we are uh yeah anyways that's a side note so they have like 12 grain breads and they have gluten-free breads and yeah you can just they have set sandwiches so one of the set sandwiches i like is the bird which is chicken um alfalfa sprouts uh avocado and cucumber that's one of the ones that they make that they have on the menu that I love. But then you can make any sandwich you want, and then they're all they're all press sandwiches like in a panini press, hence the name I guess. But then they make like homemade soups, and yeah, it's just delicious. And if I'm going out to eat like with my husband, my favorite place to go would be Earl's, um, which is a little bit fancier restaurant. It's kind of like. Well, in Canada, the keg, I'm not sure what you'd compare it to in the States or other parts of the world. Um, but it's say, say, it's a sit down meal that for two people is around between 60 and $80. So it's like 30 to $40 a person, I guess, is what it, oh, no, it's not that high. Anyways, it's a nicer restaurant. And I like that because they have a lot of different chicken dishes. A lot of the restaurants, sit-down restaurants, have like one choice. Like you have grilled chicken and your potato. Um, so I really like grills. Um, favorite dressing? I make homemade ranch and homemade um, balsamic vinaigrette. So the ranch is just made with um, either Greek yogurt, um, fat-free Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, or fat-free... Um, sour cream but I like to use the Greek yogurt because it's thicker and because the sour cream especially as you take the fat out of it gets quite thin um, and then yeah just spice it up and um, you I do sometimes use the little packet ranch packet but I use probably a quarter of what's in there instead of the whole thing and then I always add dill to my ranch and then balsamic vinegar is vinaigrette is literally olive oil and balsamic vinegar mixed together at the ratio that I like the taste of because I like it a little bit more balsamic -y. okay what kind of vehicle do you drive 2012 Ford Fusion and I love it uh, favorite clothing flip flops um, maxi dresses and I actually finally have found a pair of jeans that fit me properly. I got them from online from Additionnel and they're amazing. Um, they actually fit me like jeans are supposed to fit. 
um, and I don't know if that's because I started to lose weight or if it's because this specific type of jean uh, just fits better I don't know because I had it in the one that I'm wearing now I actually have a size bigger so when I first bought it I bought it at 22 and now I have it as a 20 because the 22s are too big but they're too big in a way that just shows that I'm starting to lose weight not too big as in like baggy around the stomach like you know if any of you guys out there actually have don't have a completely flat stomach jeans don't sit or at least not for me don't sit properly on my stomach um and so it's just like a lot of fabric there and it's weird so these jeans are awesome so those are some of my favorite ow I just done my joke um, some of my favorites. Um, where would you visit if you had the chance? Australia, hands down. Sydney, Australia, I really want to go there. I really want to go to Steve Ir Irwine, Ir Irwin, Irvine's um, Animal Sanctuary. Would love, love, love to go there. Cup half empty or cup half full? I'd like to believe I'm a cup, cup half full type of person. Um, I do know that when I get stressed though, I can start to look at the world through a cup half empty and that's actually one of my signs that, okay, I need to back off. Um, there's some stress in my life and I need to change something. So I definitely try to have a cup half full attitude. Where do you want to retire? Back home in Newfoundland, hundred percent. No questions asked. Um, what's your favorite time of day? I would say early, late afternoon early evening if it's like a specific type of type of day like you're talking over the 24 hours if you're talking just um favorite days is any day that i really get to spend time with brad because right now i'm still on a current currently still on a rotating schedule and he's on an on-call schedule so it just seems like when i'm off he's not and when he's not when I'm off, he's working. When he's working, you know what I'm trying to say. When I'm off, he's working. When I'm working, he's off. Um, to do favorite sport to watch: European soccer. So, well, European football, which is what we call soccer in North America. Uh, go Man U. Uh, bird watcher. I love bird watching. I used to watch um, birds with my grandmother. Well, my grandparents, but my grandmother especially all the time when I was a little girl. And she had like this big encyclopedia of birds and she studied it so much and she could tell you all the birds around where they, where their light cabin was. And I used to be able to too. I wouldn't be able to tell you now. I couldn't remember, but morning person or a night person? So this is an interesting question because I'm a morning person if I can get enough sleep. So if I have to be up at 6, I need to be asleep, not in bed, I need to be asleep at 10. I need 8 hours of sleep. If I can get my 8 hours of sleep, I'm a morning person. So you need me to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, then let me go to bed at like 7 at night, that would be, I think, 7, yeah. Let me go to bed at 7 at night, 6.30 at night, I'd be good. Um, but if I can't get that type of sleep, then I'm more of a night person, but I'm only a night person if I can get, like I'll stay up to two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Like tonight, like I said earlier, I will be staying up very late or as late as I can because I have, to, I want to try to sleep all day tomorrow because I have to work overnight tomorrow night and overnight Friday. So that's different, but I'll stay up until two, three o'clock in the morning, but that's if I can get my eight to 10 hours of sleep once I go to bed at three o'clock in the morning, if I don't have to get up again until mid or noon or one, then I'm fine to be a night person. So I'm very much based around my amount of sleep that I can get. Um, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have seven cats. I have Asher, who's a Russian blue, Casper, who is a short hair white. I have Dawn, who's actually in the very, whoops, this side, the very back corner there by the blanket if you can see her. She's Casper and Midnight's daughter. She's a very small white haired, short white haired cat. Her twin sister is Dusky. She's a fluffy white haired cat. Then there's Midnight which is their mom's who's a fluffy black haired cat. And then there is Samson who's a big orange tabby. He kind of looks a little bit like Garfield. 
and then there is our Maine Coon Twilight. Any exciting news you'd like to share? Mm, well, I'm going to be doing a video on this in the next day or so, but we are building a house. I've mentioned it in a couple of videos, but we are we have successfully been approved and we are building a house. Um, so that's why the most exciting thing. There's a couple other things in the works, but that is most definitely the most exciting thing right now. What did you want to do when you were little? I always wanted to be a paramedic from when I was very, very small. And then when I was, I think, somewhere between 11 and 13, I was going to my grandparents, or leaving my grandparents' house, sorry. And there was only one road for a very long period of time because it's in the country. And so we got stopped because there was a accident and we had no choice but to just slowly roll by it. Like there was no rerouting. And as we went by, like I try not to look at accidents. I was taught when I was little not to do it because it's disrespectful, but I don't really want to see hurt people now. Um, but I looked over and I saw a car seat. I didn't see a baby. I didn't see a child in any way. But from that moment on, I was like, I can't be a paramedic. I can't be the first person on scene and potentially see a hurt child or a child who was deceased. And I started thinking, you know, paramedics, because I have some family members that are paramedics, like they can see deceased people and they sometimes have to pronounce it. And I was like, no, I do not want to do that. I can't do that. I'm too emotional. And I would agree to this day still. And so then I was thinking about nursing. And literally what stopped me from nursing is you have to do six weeks in the ER. And I was like, I can't do that. And then I'm not going to graduate. And so that's when I focused it on social work. What is your best childhood memory? Um, I have a lot of childhood memories with my dad's parents where I spent a lot of time um, just in just at their lake house um, baking and cooking with my grandmother making making uh, pickles with my grandmother um, yeah, just anything with them and then swimming in the lake because it was always so calm um, because there wasn't a lot of people that lived, well there was only a couple of the people that lived on the lake so they were there uh, year round which my grandparents were too but there weren't always a lot of people like swimming in because my grandparents kind of lived in a little alcove of the lake so it was very very nice. Um, Cat or dog person? I'm both. Uh, currently, we have seven cats, so you'd say, oh, well, I'm just a cat person. I am very much a dog person, too. Just where we live isn't um, really good for dogs, so when we get our house, we will be getting a dog again. Are you married? Yes, I am. I've been married for five years. Always wear your seatbelt? Yes. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yes. Um, I was in... A car accident this past January which if you've seen on my channel that was at work um, I was t-boned in June of 2000 and or so not 2009 1999 I had 25 percent at fault accident when I was in 2003 because someone pulled over to the side of the road stopped and then I was going straight and then they turned so I ended up t-boning them um, and it was 25 percent at fault because uh, I did hit them, but they cut me off. Uh, excuse me. I have three. I have the three accidents as a child that I don't remember. Um, those were two were with my mom, and one was with my dad. And then I was in one when I was six or seven, going down a really steep hill with my mom. We were going down to see my dad, and it was he worked at the bottom of that hill. And my mom went out of control and she smashed into three or four cars. Um, biggest pet peeve, mean people. People that are outright mean. I mean, I understand that people do things that aren't the best, you know, don't make good choices because of circumstances. But when you're outright mean, just cruel, that is my biggest pet peeve. Because there's never a reason in my mind for someone to be cruel. Sometimes you're going to say and do stuff that's hurtful. I get that. But to be cruel, I, that's my biggest pet peeve. 
Um, favorite pizza toppings, veggies, lots and lots and lots of veggies, and then light on the cheese because I have problems digesting cheese. And even when I take my um, pills, the cheese pills, whatever those are called, the lactose pills, um, yeah, they're still, it's still not great. Favorite flower, either lily um, or an orchid. Favorite ice cream, I don't eat ice cream because I can't have milk, um, but I do eat, uh, Sherbert and I there's one that Chapman's makes that's rain it's rainbow so it's like orange lemon lime watermelon I think there's pink in there too and it's not strawberry because I wouldn't be able to have it Ch oh cherry cherry orange lime lemon and cherry and it's just all swirled in the bucket so that I like that favorite fast food restaurant so press like i said before but then subway quiznos extreme pita pita pits uh, mr sub so anything where you're just getting you can get like a nice fresh salad or if you do want to get a sandwich it's like a healthy sandwich that you're building yourself um how many times did you fail your driver's test zero i paced the first time my ridden and my driven um from who did you get your last email? My last email? I don't actually know who I got my last email from. Uh, let me check and see. I got my last email from myself. Ha! Look at that. I um, emailed myself something from work and from my work account to my personal account. So that's the last email I got. I was an email from myself. Um. Which store would you max out your credit card at? Um, probably Michael's, which is like a craft store, um, because I love doing crafty things. Um, possibly Ikea, because like a lot of the stuff in my house is Ikea, and it's like the best quality stuff I have. Um, or an elf store. Um, Eyes, lips, face, the cosmetic company. It's the only cosmetic company I've come across that I can use for more than three months without breaking out. So I love their stuff and I love their brushes, so I would probably spend some money there too. And I, I guess it also depends on how big is my credit card, <laughs> right? Um, how, oh, have you done anything spontaneous lately? Nope, between work and being sick and then Brad's been sick, so I've been looking after him too. Nothing really. I do like doing spo spontaneous stuff though. Do you like your job? Yes, I love my job. Um, I don't always love the politics of it, but I do love my job. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I work on a crisis unit with um, people living homeless, people living with addictions, um, so it's a crisis intervention and diversion team. So I love it. The one thing I don't love about it is working um, overnight. So I just finished two weeks of days. And then Thursday, like I was talking about earlier with my sleeping, I go back to work on nights for two weeks. So I don't like the overnights. Um, it messes with me. But other than that, I love my job. Do you like broccoli? I love broccoli. And I don't smother in cheese sauce. I love broccoli and salads. I love broccoli steamed just in the microwave with some chicken stock. I love raw broccoli. Yeah, I love broccoli. Favorite vacation? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably is going down south with my husband just because it's so, you just disconnect and you just, yes, we can spend time with each other, which is great. Um, but also it's just like the recharging of the battery feeling, you know, of not, you know, not being in touch with your phone. Like my husband's phone isn't going dingle dingle every two seconds because he's constantly on call. When he's home, like he turns all that stuff off because he's not going to respond to that down there. He doesn't have the data. Um, so yeah, I would say just anywhere down south, just beach, water, you know, get me close to water and I'm, I'm good. 
Last person you went out to dinner with, that would be my husband. And that was, where did we go? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember. We went out last week, but I don't remember where we went. Um, what are you listening to right now? Um, I listen to everything, a bit of everything, which is why I love the um, radio station that I listen to. It's called Now Radio. So it's like modern adult hits is what it's listed as. Like if you have, uh, like if it comes up in your vehicle, like this, the satellite radio, that same software reads like what the station is. Um, but so it plays like modern hits, but it plays like early 2000s, 90s, 80s in normal rotation. Then they do cool things like the takeover where um, um, listeners get to text in for a whole hour and pick songs. So those songs can be any genre, any, any year, any anything. So that's very cool. Um, and then they do now wows, which are like uh, stuff that you wouldn't necessarily hear. So there's been like late, lately there's been some India in not India. Indian music? No. Indie. Indie music on there, and I've loved it, um, which I didn't really think I would love because that type of music I listened to a lot in my past when I was making other choices in my life. I didn't know that I would like it, but I actually, it was pretty cool. So I'll listen to anything they have on the radio. I'll pretty much listen to anything you put on the, um, on play. I don't really like heavy metal that much just because to me it's just a lot of screaming and uh, like it's a lot of noise, it's not really music, but like rap, I freaking love rap, like one of my favorite people in the whole entire world, like music wise, is Akon. Um, favorite color, purple, 100%. Do you have any tattoos? No, I currently don't, but I am actually getting a tattoo very soon right here of a purple semicolon. Um, and I'll be doing a whole video about that, but it's part of the semicolon campaign um, to like, it's for awareness of mental health and addiction. So anyone that knows me knows that I am living with a couple different mental illnesses and I have a very long extensive addiction past. Um, and I have a lot of suicide attempts, which is another thing, it's suicide, um, awareness, and so yeah, I'm getting that there, I'm getting a memorial tattoo right here of, um, a co purple cornflower, and then, and then Gail, and then May 22nd, 2015, that's my mother-in-law, so I'm getting that for her, and then after my grandmother passed away, because my grandfather has already passed away, I'm going to get something here in memory of them. And then two last questions. Coffee drinker? No, because I'm allergic to caffeine and I don't like to caffeinated coffee. Plus, um, most of caffeinated coffee is not completely decaffeinated. It's not completely caffeine free, so it would defeat the purpose. And last question. What time did you complete this video? It is 2.01 p.m. Mountain Time. So that is the video. That is the tag. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.